Hello, our friends, Dr. Beck here. Welcome to Art Ways Where Learning is Fun. Today, we're gonna to be drawing Branch from the movie Trolls. And what you'll need is a pencil and eraser, a Sharpie, some colored markers or colored pencil or crayons, whatever you have available. See you in a minute. Let's draw Branch from Trolls. I like to put some points on, <clears throat> on the paper so that we know just about how big to make everything on here. And about halfway, right there, put a little mark for the bottom of the chin. Now halfway between the bottom of the chin and the top of the paper, a little less than halfway, is gonna be his hairline, because his hair needs a lot of space up there, a little less than half. And then between his chin and the bottom of his feet, a little lower than halfway is going to be the bottom of his outfit. So I have some marks on here that I know now where I need to draw certain parts to branch. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start by putting this first arc in up here for the top of his head, bottom of his hair. And as always, I sketch this out first and if you need to pause this along the way because I'm moving too quickly, just hit pause on the video. The next thing I wanna do is put his fun hair in up here, which comes all the way to the top of the page. Easy. Next, I wanna put his ears coming out like this on one side and out like this on the other side. Try to make them the same size on each side of the head. Next, I'm gonna come in and put a loop down here for the bottom of his chin. In his ear here, I'm gonna make a little squiggle and go like that. A little squiggle and go like that. The next thing I wanna do is in the middle, put his nose like this. See, a little dip in his mouth. I wanna put two round eyes in. One, two, with a pupil and a pupil. And where the iris goes and where the iris goes. He also has these nice strong eyebrows. Next, I wanna come down from under the chin right about here. Come straight down to where I see that mark and come over and stop. That was that mark that I put down there. I wanna come over here and put an arm in that comes down and this is going to be his hand and then I want to come over here put his other arm in over here I'm going to stop there I'm going to put that finger in here and I'm going to put this one in here and come around like that and stop again slow down if you need to other arm and then the other side of his body is going to be right in there. One, two. Legs. And I stopped a little higher over here. That puts a little bit further back. So let's put this one in first. We're going to come down, put a toe, second toe, third toe last toe and we're going to meet that behind the foot here toe 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 and then the top of the foot he's got this um clothing on that has this design in it like this and they meet in the middles of the last one drawn. So you aim for the middle, make these loops and then aim for the middle. 
Ready? Middle, middle, doesn't finish, middle, middle, doesn't finish. Let's put a few in over here. And this is going to be solid brown. There's the drawing. Now we're going to start coloring it in. I think what I'm going to do first, this is a big blackish hair. You could add some color in there if you want to. I think what I'm going to do is add a little bit of dark blue in here, just so that it's not solid black. I like using this pastel to get color down quickly. Then I could do colored pencil over it. It's a great way to get coloring quickly. I'm not gonna use my colored pencil yet because I think I'm gonna put some color down for his skin. And I think for this, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a little dark green in here. He's kind of like a grayish green. And if you don't have any pastel, you could use your colored pencils. You could use crayon to color this in. You could paint it in. Your choice. And that's all the pastel I'm going to be using in this. Okay. Nose is a lavender. Or a light blue. Dark blue is going to be black.
Dr. Beck, that looks really cool. Dr. Beck, eso se ve bien. Thank you for visiting Art Ways today because there are so many ways to use art. I hope you enjoyed drawing branch today. And don't forget, be smart, include art. Bye. Adios. See you next time.